Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I journal. Hopefully you will find it helpful and might be able to pick up some tips and ideas for your own journaling sessions. Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me. Okay, so I actually have three different ways that I journal and I keep them all in these books. So I'm a big fan of Moleskin. I think their journals are immaculate and nothing really beats their paper quality. So that's why you'll find that I have these two. I have an A4 and an A5 size. And then I also use this vegan leather A6 size journal. And I actually use all of these for different things. So I actually use this big one for my personal development, goal setting, future plans, journaling down anything that kind of will help me to develop as a person. This smaller one I use for prayer journaling and this tiny one I use for Bible journaling. If this interests you, keep watching and I will go into more depth in each one. Right, so starting with my personal development journal first. So I've just titled it Personal Development 2022 and then on the first page I've just listed personal development books that I've read this year. Now as a Christian I am quite careful of which personal development books I read because a lot of them out there are about manifestation, about energy, very new age kind of beliefs. So these are ones that I've kind of felt comfortable reading and actually have really helped me. So I've only read five so far but these have all been beneficial to kind of help me develop and reach my goals. And then I thought about who do I want to become in 2022 and at first I felt a bit uncomfortable writing this but then I thought no actually I really want to write this down and just if I was the best version of myself, if I was at my peak in all of my areas, what would I look like? What would I be doing each day? And then each month I've just sort of picked a few and tried to better myself in those areas. So I've got spiritual life, then I've got health, I've got finances, I've got home. I've got personal, I've got being a mum and I've got being a wife. So it's just kind of like a bullet journal for my life. And then I won't go any further than this because the rest of the journal is quite private to me. But I'll put up here exactly what I do when I journal. So the first thing that I do is I reflect. So it might be on a day, it might be on a week, it might be on a month. Then I will write out any wins that I've had, anything that I'm kind of proud of myself for or anything that went particularly well. And then I will write down anything that didn't. And then I will look at the things that didn't and I will really sit and kind of, and I'll feel all the feelings. So how did that make me? me feel why do I think it made me feel like that what can I do if that ever happens again and then if it involves anybody else I'll write down from their perspective what they might have felt and then it usually helps me feel a lot better about a situation and then I will write down next steps and ways to move on from anything that didn't go particularly well that day that week that month I try and do that so it's kind of a teaching lesson rather than just a stream of consciousness where I'm writing down the way that I'm feeling where I kind of write down what I did that day I don't really see the point in that kind of journaling for, for myself personally personally other than it's something nice to look back on and see what I did each day but I didn't find that kind of journaling very beneficial for me so now I try and do it as a teaching tool and really reflect on my day and this stem this really stems from being a teacher from like 12 years ago we used to have to write reflective journals at the end of the day on how each lesson had gone and I've just kind of took that on into my personal life and reflect on how situations have gone throughout my day week month. So I hope that's helpful. And then the next journal that I have is my prayer journal. So I've got a whole video on this going through it. So I will link that down below, but I'll just quickly go over it for you now. So I basically copied the Coffee and Bible Time prayer journal because I couldn't afford the shipping on theirs. It was just super expensive to get sent over here to the UK. So I just kind of copied their kind of outline and created my own. So I've just got a prayer in the beginning and then I've got different sections. So I've got here a praise section where I write down all of my praise prayers. Then I've got a confession section where I write down anything that I need to confess to the Lord. Then I've got give thanks, which is just kind of my gratitude prayers. Then I've got rest and listen. So in here I put anything that I might have heard from sermons or anything that I feel like God is speaking to me about, any kind of scriptures that are standing out to me. I'll pop in here and I'll just reflect on them. And then I have got an urgent section where I write down any of my friend or family's prayer requests that are urgent. Then I've got petition, which is just where I write down prayers for myself that aren't necessarily urgent, but things that I'm asking God for. 
And then finally, I've got answers. And I write down here all of my answered prayers and you wouldn't believe how many there is when you go through your sections and you're like, oh my goodness, God's answered that prayer. I'm so grateful. I'll pop them all in the answered prayer section. And it just makes you realize how much God is actually working in your life and how much he's using you to help other people too. It's it's such a good section to have in your prayer journal just to go back over and see everything that God's done. And if you're ever feeling lonely or you're ever feeling like God's not listening to you, you can go to those sections and be like, oh my goodness, like God is working through things. And yeah, and I try and make it pretty as well and use post-it notes and things um, just to, you know, make it interesting and like I want to pick it up and look at it. And then finally I have my Bible journal. I've also got a video on this, might be a little bit outdated now, um, but this is just my Bible journal. And then here I just write down anything and everything that comes to mind when I'm reading the Bible. So I've got here where I've written down about Psalm 17 and it's just a little bit of a teaching. Then I've got an actual verse study here. Sometimes I just write down things that blow my mind, um, little scriptures. Sometimes I do graphic ideas for my Instagram. Sometimes I write out quite confrontational questions that really make me stop and think, um, like these ones. Yeah, I've just got lots of different kind of things going on in here. And it's messy and it's mine and I don't care that anyone will see this. I just go for it and I don't try and make it look beautiful or anything like that. It's just all kind of for me. I think that that is key with journaling is that you keep it for you and don't worry like it's so I, I don't know if you're like me but for years I got put off journaling in case anybody saw it or if I did write I would be writing in a kind of edited fashion just in case somebody read it and it wasn't actually my real thoughts going down on paper and if you do feel like that there's apps out there which can be password protected so you can do it on your laptop or you can literally write it down scrumple it up throw it away um, but just as long as you're kind of getting those thoughts out there and really trying trying to grow and develop and be a better person um, and that's what I think journaling is all about and you really need to just kind of make sure that you're not letting the thought that other people might see it put you off because that's what I did for years especially with kind of my bible journal and things I used to think oh my goodness there's so many girls out there who do beautiful bible journaling and it's all on Pinterest and Instagram and it looks amazing and I would try and do that and then I thought do you know what I'm not learning from this and I'm actually putting pressure on myself to make a beautiful bible journal that nobody ever really is going to see apart from me unless I share it so then I, it just kind of clicked with me and now I just write things down and I get so much more out of my journal in time because I do it for myself and not for other people. So, so if you're going to take anything away from this video, let it be that. Okay, that is kind of the end of this video. If you have any questions about how I journal, if I haven't covered anything, please comment it down below or message me on my Instagram if you don't want everyone kind of reading your comment and stuff. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you've made it to this point in the video. Drop a heart down below if you have and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your side. Cause I can do